Hey, Mark. Yeah, Nathan. Hey, do you have low energy? Noticing your energy is lower than usual when you go to the gym. Get answers from the comfort of your own home with Let's Get Checked. Ooh, I like that. Low testosterone levels can cause fatigue and low energy levels that are linked to depression. Did you know that the testosterone levels in men typically fall about 1% every year after the age 30 or 40? And low testosterone levels can cause fatigue and low energy levels that are linked to depression. Thanks to our sponsor, Let's Get Checked. You're covered. Let's Get Checked is an at-home testing company that makes it easy and confidential to check your hormone levels from the comfort of your home without visiting a clinic or healthcare professional. Here's how Let's Get Checked works. You simply go to their site, order your kit, and it arrives at your door in a small, discreet package. From there, you do a small finger prick and send the sample back to their labs with their prepaid shipping label. In two to five days, you'll get results, and a Let's Get Checked nurse will be available to discuss your results with you if you'd like their feedback. Once your results are available, they'll be reviewed by a physician and released into your online dashboard. If your results are outside the normal ranges, a member of Let's Get Checked nursing team will contact you to discuss your lab report. Let's Get Checked laboratories are CLIA approved, which is the highest ranking levels of accreditation. The company has performed over 2 million at-home tests. They keep your information and results confidential. Even better, our listeners will get 30% off their entire order with our special code. And of course, it is Tech Time. Use the code TECHTIME at checkout when you visit letsgetchecked.com. Again, that's letsgetchecked.com and enter the code TECHTIME at checkout to ensure you and your significant others are staying safe. Hey, Mike. What's up? Hey, with 2022 coming along, guess what? We got some news to announce. What are we going to announce? Well, we are announcing that we are going to be continuing to broaden our show and we're moving to Kixie 880. 880 AM KIXI? Starting January 11th. We are going to be on Tuesdays from 3 to 4 PM. But don't you fear because everybody at KKNW will still continue to have our show broadcasting on Saturdays for the two hours. And of course, our replay options on Thursday morning. Awesome. We would like to thank Podcorn for sponsoring this episode of Tech Time Radio. Explore sponsorship opportunities and start monetizing your podcast by signing up at podcorn.com forward slash podcasters. Let me tell you about Podcorn. Podcorn is an absolute must for any podcaster starting out. Now, when we started out Tech Time Radio, we started out in a back office with a couple of mics. We expanded to a studio. And then now, as you can see, we're on the radio and have distribution into other markets. Having the ability to have Podcorn at the start of our podcast would have been a dream come true. Guess what? With Podcorn, you now have the amazing opportunity for podcasts to receive sponsorship, such as host reads, interview segments, and topical discussions. With Podcorn, there's no middleman. Podcasters of all size can browse and choose opportunities right on their platform, set their own rates, and collaborate with brands directly without exclusivities. You never give up the rights of your podcast in Podcorn, and they're here to support you everywhere possible. Visit podcorn.com. Again, that's podcorn.com. Podcorn is a true success for those starting their podcast dreams. Coming to you from the shores of the Pacific Northwest, keeping you up to date on technology while enjoying a little whiskey on the side with leading edge topics along with special guests to navigate technology in a segmented stylized radio program the information that will make you go hmm pull up a seat raise a glass with our hosts as we spend the next hour talking about technology for the common person welcome to tech time radio with nathan mum Welcome to Tech Time with Nathan Mum. The yeah, get on it. show that makes you go, hmm. Technology News of the Week, the show for the common everyday person with insightful segments on subjects weeks ahead of the mainstream media. I'm Nathan Mum. Welcome to our show. We live stream during our show on YouTube, Twitch.tv, Twitter, and Facebook. So to watch us, all you got to do is visit us on TechTimeRadio.com and keep up with all your technology information. Plus, see how we rate our whiskey pick of the day. Tech Time is an weekly hour technology show that talks about current technology in a simple format without having to geek out. Where do you go for all your tech time information? Well, of course, techtimeradio.com. Sign up for our newsletter, listen and watch archive, purchase our NFTs, or even ask us a technology question so we can air it on the show. Just click on the Be A Caller and engage us live. Now, if you're on Twitter right now, if you hashtag Tech Time Radio, we are monitoring the Twitter feed, so we'll respond to a question on that also. 
And Mr. Gorday, this is our first time on Kixie 880. Uh, We're really right. excited about it. How are you feeling today? Odd. This is, this is different, isn't this it? This is different. This is this, this is great, but this is a, a, a deal. We would also like to thank um, our syndication stations that we have in Boston that is picking us up. Mm-hmm. We have San Diego, LA, and Atlanta that are also a part of our national show. So we're really excited about having them a part of the program also. That's right. We want to say hi to them. Now, as we start each and every day, now it's time to start our show. Now on today's show. All right. What's on the Today Show? Uh, today on Tech Time with Nathan Mom. This is the new year, and we're so excited to be here on Kixie 880 AM as our new home for Tech Time with Nathan Mum. We'll be airing now live from 3 to 4 p.m. Tuesdays in the Seattle market. Today on the show, we have SpaceX launching a Falcon 9 with 49 Starlink satellites. Now, Mr. Elon Musk got in trouble for all of his space debris, and so he decided to start off the new year by shooting another 49 uh, Starlink right. satellites into space. He watches. He watched Wally. That's and right. Needs to compete with that show. <laughs> That's Flying right. Flying more or whatever it is. All right. We have Apple that wants nothing to do with Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse with that new AR headset that's looking at to come out this year. So we're going to be talking about that. Uh, so what happens if Facebook and Instagram or any of your meta applications get hacked? We have a guest in studio today that we're going to be talking to you that essentially had their account hijacked over the holidays. We talked about this on Tech Time, right? Mm-hmm. Holidays, a big time to have cyber criminals go to town. Yep. And her account was logged into and essentially her computer was taken over, her email was taken over, her Facebook and Instagram accounts were deleted. And we're going to talk about what we're doing right now. And hopefully get some news out there so we can have uh, your your meta your meta company that you just love so much. Oh yeah, their customer support service is failing. Is it is it is it tops? It, it is tops. Is it the bee's knees? Oh, this is horrible. So we're gonna be talking about that. Um, we have the misadventures to be talking about how you recover from a company that does not pick up the phone and only talks to you online. <laughs> we also have our favorite segment, including this week in technology, along with letters and our pick of the day. All right, well, Mr. Gorday, now's the time for us to start our show with our loaded question of the week brought to you by Elderberry Boost. Get your Elderberry Boost today at elderberry-boost.com. All right, our loaded question of the day is, here's what we got. If you want a million dollars, what would you do with it? Uh, A million dollars? A million dollars. That's like nothing. (laughs) <laughs> it isn't nowadays, is it? No. <laughs> like that's not just how much my house has moved up for in the last two years. No. I need, you need to put your pinky up to your mouth and be like a million dollars. Uh, you know, I would just pay off some debts, I think, and uh, ride off into the sunset. Right. At, where would you go? To, where would you ride off in the sunset to? Oh, uh, the Caribbean. Sunset. I know. That's, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's that's that's. So you wake up every morning goal. on the beach and you just got a beautiful sunshine. You just go on Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Oh, I know that'd be perfect. All right. Okay. Well, that was brought to you by Elderberry Voos. Yeah, Make sorry, sure. it's pretty boring. What was that? Well, it's, 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 I guess that's the million dollar question. Is you just going to disappear? Well, yeah, that's if you if, if it's the billion dollar. I got other. Things. Uh, you got, got billion I got, things. I got, I got things for a billion. So I, I'm buying like cities up in space, right? So I'm going to move up to. I'm going to go up and build a city if I got a couple billion. You know, right? I don't think so. You don't think so? No, Elon can't even do that. Well, you yet, know, so. I, I, I got an email from someone that says that they can sell me real estate in on the moon, and it was only like $69. You, like, should, you should check that I out. I clicked on it. I, kept, yeah, and they, I and bet they kept you the, did. No. All right. Here we go. All right. All right. Well, now, Mike, as always, we have our pick of the day. We are either going to give this a zero, one, or two thumbs up. Make sure you listen all the way through the show to hear some interesting facts about our whiskey and you'll see how Mr. Gorday and I rate it. Um, of course, you will always get an interesting fact that we talk about that will make you go oom. Now, let's get our episode started with our first segment. We call this the Stop, Top Stories in the First Five Minutes. This brings you the top technology news everyone will be talking about for weeks to come within the first five minutes of the show. What's happening in the world of technology? This is our Top Stories in the First Five Minutes. All right, story number one, Apple reportedly wants nothing to do with Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse. Essentially, they said, you're on your own meta, best of luck to you. So the metaverse, a VR playground that Mark Zuckerberg is forcing down everybody's throat, might threaten to consume all of us over the next few years. However, it seems Apple CEO Tim Cook isn't buying what uh, Mark Zuckerberg is selling. Apple won't participate in the metaverse crazy list, at least not now. Apple has plans to release its own mixed reality headset, possibly by the end of this year. The excerpts from questions from subscribers in a newsletter said essentially from Twitter that this 
device will be quite a bit different than Facebook's as it will actually be more augmented reality. So you could actually wear it out in the real world itself and have superimposed information instead of putting the headset on and being in its own inclusion world that Meta wants in the VR length of stuff. Yeah, this is going to be Pokemon Go on steroids. This is exactly right, right? You Can you think about that? You put this on, you can see everything around you, and then as you're going right. around, you yeah. have these animals Apple pop artifi- up. Yeah, art- artificially creating psychosis. Are they creating, yeah. How are they creating psychosis? You're going to be walking around with these things on, and then things are going to be jumping out at you that aren't in actual real life, but it's going to look like it. So it's going to look like you're having a hallucination. Oh, that, okay. That's I mean, You know what, though? I kind of like having a, at least a goggle that I can look through and see the outside world instead of putting this big dark thing on and having to be in the in the yeah, Facebook environment. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of uh, like this, this will take the off. real world. You, you know this will take off, though, yeah. right? Apple's got the best marketing power behind it, and they're not sure. Mark Zuckerberg, so you know, there's probably a chance it'll take care of itself. Well, it might, yeah. All right, well, there's no firm date, and Apple itself is not releasing what this new cyber helmet is going to cost, but at least they probably don't have to worry about wearing it all day in meetings so that you can be in your own secluded space. It's going to be expensive. It will be. Well, I'm sure it will be. And you know what? There will be people lining up for it, and then there will be a secondary market that will buy it and then resell it for even more double the price. All right, Mike, I think you got story number two. Yeah, we're talking about some space updates here. You know, you just mentioned that Elon Musk, SpaceX, launched a Falcon 9 with 49 Starlink satellites from Cape Canaveral in Florida on January the 6th, marking its first flight of the year. The company appears to be planning to keep up a quick clip when it comes to the pace of the Falcon 9 flights in 2022, as it's readying for a rideshare mission as early as January 13. Yep. So, Uber? Well, they're going to try to do some type of ride sharing so you can uh, yeah. bid, so you can yeah. bid oh, on it. Yeah. It's not going to be like a ride share for the everyday person that I can just go down to I and sign into. I need an app for that. That's right. <laughs> Please fly me to the moon. <laughs> there you go. There we go. John Tesh just had that plane a, a little bit before our show here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think so. There we go. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on with Elon. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, NASA's new space telescope is all set up. Uh, the James Webb Space Telescope, which should provide more detailed and distant imaging of galaxies beyond our own than ever before, has completed its final set of deployments, which means that everything on it that's supposed to unfurl and set themselves up post-launch have successfully done so. That means that everybody's cheering at NASA. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. The telescope now just has to complete some mid-flight thruster burns in order to place it in the planned and correct orbit, and then it'll be ready to snap some photos and send them back to Earth. All right. Well, story number three, Farmville Maker to sell for $11 billion. Now, this is some interesting news, and we have our reporter explaining the financial details on this clip. A $12.7 billion deal in the video game space uh, juicing Zynga shares, as you can see, up nearly 45%. As Grand Theft Automaker Take-Two Interactive is paying 12.7, as I said there, to acquire the maker of Farmville and Words with Friends in a cash and stock deal. Already cheering the deal for the way it could unlock a big push into mobile for Take-Two, but should set gaming up to stay hot in 2022 if some more uh, acquisitions like this pan out. All right, so Grand Theft Automaker and NBA 2K. Now, I'm a big NBA 2K. Yeah. So, so this is Take-Two Interactive has agreed to buy Zanga for $11 billion in cash and additional stock option pricing. So that's where the pricing is going to be. That's where that little discrepancy is. Yeah, so from. it can be changed, and it'll probably change by the time they actually have the final purchase price of that. So sure, it, sure. it's a $11 billion plus. Uh, the social game developer Zanga is best known for its Farmville and Words with Friends, the deal which is pending regulatory approval would be one of the biggest in video game acquisitions history. Zanga stock price jumped sharply while well, Take-Two fell with the following news. Yeah, no, what's, no, no kidding. Yeah, so what's really interesting is Zanga itself in the past years had acquired four game developers and an ad-serving platform to the tune of about $3 billion themselves. Mm-hmm. Overlooked right here is what many people will not be talking about, which will actually probably the key acquisition aspect of it from Take-Two Interactive included that they bought the once- Chart Boost advertising business. So Chart Boost was a part of the purchase price that Zanga did, and then now with Take Two purchasing, and these are the experts with in-game uh, currency upgrades. So they are the best at it. They're the ones that know how to market this. Is chart this. Boost. Yep, Chart okay. Boost. And so essentially, this will probably have your Grand Theft Auto. You're out there, you know, 
beating up a bunch of people, getting shot or something like that, and then you're going to need to go have some Gatorade. So you'll end up probably paying some in-game purchase price or something like that, really insignificant to what you think of, to actually get the in-game credits for those items. Yeah, like a dollar. Yep. 99 cents. 99 cents. a lot of stuff. That's right. Online. All right. So story number four, iPad. This is a real quick one. iPad paid out around $60 billion, $60 billion in the App Store developers just for 2021. That means if you created an app and you had it running in the Apple Store in 2021 during that time, Apple paid out $6 billion. What's really interesting is this, is that the payouts have jumped from $35 million in 2018 and 2019, and it grew by $45 billion in 2019 to 2020. And during COVID's all-time area, we got $45 billion plus $60 billion that people are buying for their paid apps on their phone. Yeah, that makes sense. Right? Yeah, you're We're si- all stuck at home. Yeah. We got nothing better to do than play on our phones and iPads. Yep. So you know, so I'm going, that that's why augmented reality is going to be such a kick. It is because you're going to be able because to, we're going to be able to, we're going to be able to you know live in our own our own little delusional world. world that we can interact with fictional creatures. See now, see now, if this is done right, right with Apple, I could have one of these devices, augmented reality, driving down the road, and then I could just be. I've always had this urge when cars are slow in front of me, just where I just wanted to pull like two triggers and just like blow them up. I wonder if they would have like cars ahead of you. And if they're just driving really slow with your argument in reality, you could just shoot them up. What do you think? That yeah. would be a game. I'm going to create that it, game. Let me that, t- and I'm going to make. I, I'm pretty sure you're you're in a long line of people who've already created that, that game. You think so? Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, that. I mean, we. I do. I I do it from my mouth when I'm driving. Around. <laughs> do you? I just yell. And you just yell at them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. All right. Mike, our time's up. That's our top stories. If you want to learn more about this, please visit us online at techtimeradio.com. Click on our episode section or blog and get the details for each of these stories and features. Now it's time to get ready for our whiskey tasting at the break. But up next, we have our technology insider segment story about Facebook and Instagram being hacked. And just how bad support is at Meta to get these accounts back from hackers and restored. If you have a Facebook account or Instagram account, you're not going to want to miss this true life support horror story. And we have the individual that it happened to in studio today, which will be excited to be talking about that. So join us after this break. I don't know if excited would be the Well, it's going to be very exciting. So join us after the break. We'll see you after this. (laughs) This is Nathan Mum and Mike Roday from Tech Time with Nathan Mum. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what? I got a secret to tell you. Tech Time Radio is moving to Kixie AM 880 on Tuesday, January 11th from 3 to 4 p.m. No way. Yes. We are moving the Tech Time Radio show that has blown up on KKNW 1150, and we're now moving it over to Kixie. Do I have to keep the secret? Uh, no. We, we're, we need to tell everybody about it so they can see the explosion. January 11th of Tech Time Radio from 3 to 4 p.m. Hey, Mike. What's up? Hey, with 2022 coming along, guess what? We got some news to announce. What are we going to announce? Well, we are announcing that we are going to be continuing to broaden our show, and we're moving to Kixie 880. 880 AM KIXI? Starting January 11th. We are going to be on Tuesdays from 3 to 4 p.m. But don't you fear, because everybody at KKNW will still continue to have our show broadcasting on Saturdays for the two hours, and of course, our replay options on Thursday morning. Awesome. Hey, Mike. What? Have you heard of Elderberry? Only in reference to a Monty Python movie. Well, let me tell you, Elderberry Boost. Again, that's elderberry-boost.com. Elderberry Boost. Yes, Mike, that's Elderberry Boost. You can choose Organic Elderberry Boost, that 8-ounce size. It's available on sale right now at eleven ninety nine. But you're listening here right now on Tech Time Radio, so you need to go to Elderberry, that's E-L-D-E-R-B-E-R-R-Y-Boost.com and get some today. Elderberry Boost. Boost. Elderberry is an all-natural organic immune system booster and antiviral. Elderberry is known to actively fight against viruses, including colds and the flu. It also works as a natural remedy for allergies, cancer, digestion, heart disease, high cholesterol, headache, toothache, weight loss, and reduced inflammation. It's a natural and healthy diuretic and has many antiviral properties. While it is famous for fighting the flu, it is effective for any illness. Elderberry Boost was created to provide a quality organic elderberry to their customers. After searching years ago for a perfect elderberry syrup, none could be found, so they essentially created their own homemade recipe. If you would like to get 15% off your first order of Elderberry Boost, just put in the discount code TECHTIME at checkout. Again, that's elderberry-boost.com. Elderberry Boost. Elderberry Boost. 
All right. Welcome back to Tech Time with Nathan Mum. We had during our commercial break our whiskey tasting. We have you're gonna put that up there, Mr. Gorday. We got our two star bourbon, eighty six proof, twenty four ninety nine bottle. And let me tell you about it. Why is there only two stars? Well, don't get your sights too high or too low because the two stars doesn't have to do with the scale rating, but it actually has to do with the two stars from the Kentucky Straight Bourbons flag that they use to actually be a part of the distillery company itself. So. This is a polished brass gold highlighted. Uh, it has a thin aroma, medium bodied with no alcohol burn. It's filled with aromas from oak and leather and light caramel, vanilla, and just a faint touch of cinnamon honey. Kind of like a bowl of Cheerios. That's what you came up with? <laughs> That's what I came up with. Okay. A bowl of Cheerios. Yeah, Don't you remember having your bowl of Cheerios like that when you were a little kid? Not with a faint hint of cinnamon <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, honey. So All right. Honey. So we're going to give it a, either a thumbs up or a thumbs down at the end of the show. For those mm-hmm. that are listening new, this is what we do for each of our shows. Two-star whiskey, straight bourbon uh, from Louisville, Kentucky, Jefferson County. All right. Yes. That's pretty good. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get moving on. I'm sure we're going to enjoy that during the next break and the next break and the next break and after the show. But okay. All right. Let's get ready to move now into a true story that we have here that is... Which probably, Very, that probably is kind, should have been on Halloween. Huh? That it should have been on Halloween. Well, it didn't happen on Halloween. But we yeah, actually have the individual to kind of explain a little bit about what happened in studio today. So let's get ready to start our next segment. This is called Technology Insider. Welcome to Technology Insider. We get the information directly from the source. All right, in studio. Thank you for joining us. We have Laura Mac Quiss. There you go. Did I get Good. it? I got Good it. Good job. I got it. Okay, perfect. Welcome to our studio. Essentially, we're going to be talking a little bit about Facebook, and then we're going to ask specifically some questions regarding you. So what happens when a Facebook account is misused or hacked? At a time where we're most living in a virtual world, we are all connected to friends and family, mostly through social media networks. Again, what is it like to have your social media attacked? This is exactly what happened to 50 million users of Facebook on the afternoon of September 28th of last year. They found out their accounts were hacked and while life seemed to have come to a standstill for most Facebook addicts, the rest of us were rest assured with Facebook telling us that they had taken care of the breach themselves. All right. Now let's talk about this. So I am so glad Laura, let's let, we had a couple questions here. So your account, you, you explaining your business to us first so that we can understand you have an Instagram account and a Facebook account. What what do you do for your business? Sure. So what I do for my business is I work with women over 40 and resetting hormones, using yoga and food and fitness and a lot of fun along the way. So I've been doing that for over 25 years. And because of that, my business has continued to evolve. And because I've been in the fitness industry, I was a professional fitness athlete. I had a, a fitness clothing line for many years. And then now primarily working with women online as well as wellness companies. So there's several brands that I work with as a content creator or brand influencer um, or a brand ambassador. And so part of my business is working with clients one-on-one and the other part is based upon my social media and creating content for the different companies that I work with. Okay. So let's talk about that. So social media, you have an Instagram account, Facebook account. All of a sudden you opened up your Facebook and you received an email that said your page has been unpublished. This is because of an article that did not meet our standards. We do not allow content for certain areas. Repeat violation of your community standards can cause further account restrictions. If you think you made a mistake, you can disagree with the decision and click on the continue button. You received this in an email, correct? Yes, I did. And quite honestly, when it said boot camp for me, what's the first thing I think of is like, oh yeah, I've done beach boot camps. I've done weekend boot camps, all health and fitness related, promoting body positivity and encouraging people to live their best life. So clearly that was a mistake when I saw it. I'm like, huh. Okay, so so that, what happens now? How that get that's, there? That's right. So so what? So your next process? What happened? You clicked on the link, right? Yeah. So I, I clicked on the link, and I said, "Well, surely this wasn't what happened." And so I clicked on the link. I followed through the prompts. It said, um, "Upload your password so you can change it." Of course, I wanted to change it because I didn't want anything else, you know, malicious or anything else 
that did not go along with me on my page. And so I did that. And then it sent me to another page where it's almost as it repeated itself again, saying, go ahead, add your password here, and then we can secure your account. So it did it twice. So I did it one time where it asked you for a password. You typed it in. Yes. Said this was incorrect. And then yes. I did it, came back and it said, retype it in again. Well, that sounds it, familiar. Doesn't that sound familiar? We talk about that in our we, letter segment, yeah. don't we? We talk oh, about that word. all the time. We do. And, and so then it, it, what happened is essentially you put in that password. Yes. And then not be known to yourself, all of a sudden uh, you go to take a look at your Facebook page, your Instagram page, and what happens? Well, then I, I went to, to go back to my Facebook page, and, and clearly it was gone. I couldn't do anything because it just kept me on that page of enter this, and we will send you a code, and we'll send you a text code. I would get a text code. However, there was a thing that would pop up, and it would say, a message popped up, and it would say, we couldn't send you a text message. Sorry. Re- change your number. So change your numbers. So, so that didn't work. And I went on to Instagram, which is that's primarily where my big business comes from as far as my online content creation. And so I went to log on there and it was as if I was going through the matrix The the grid was there looking great. Then all of a sudden it did this weird swish and whoosh and then it was gone. It was gone. So 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 what happened here is it is your site essentially was overtaken by hackers. Yes. And then what happened is the hackers decided to go on to the site itself, change, of course, the phone number, change the email, change the dual factor authentication process, essentially then get access into your email accounts because you're trying to reset everything. And so what was happening is they actually hijacked the accounts. They then, um, most of the time when companies do that, they actually look to get a ransomware. So they normally will send you a ransom note saying, hey, we now have your account hijacked. Please give us $500 to $800 and we'll <laughs> get it back ready to go, which you would probably be like, I would have done that now but after the time and effort that we've spent through this. But essentially what they did is then they decided to close the account. So if you go into Facebook and decide to close an account, it gives you a couple of warnings, mm-hmm. which essentially strips the whole page so that your page is no longer there. Instagram, Facebook, all of the accounts were completely dissolved and there was nothing you could do. Now, now this happens to tons of people. We have at least eight or nine customers that I know of that over the break that have contacted and, and worked with uh, some experts regarding this aspect. So this happens not just to you. This happens to everybody. And I, I don't want anybody out there listening and saying, well, it won't happen to me because if you say that, then it probably will happen to you. <laughs> yeah. uh, but um, if it does happen to you, there's a couple things that we should probably do. The number one thing to do, I, I would immediately get on a Tech Time Radio and I click on the contact page and say, help us out. Because we have a, a great guy here if you're in the Chicago area. We got uh, Mr. Nick Espinosa, right? Mm-hmm. He's a, a, a security expert. He's one of our security uh, gurus we go to on the radio show itself. And essentially, he is... Uh, just an expert with technology, but there's very few of these people across the nation that know how to actually try to recover your account, work with your account. And most of the time people are like, what do I do? And they, and they just sit around and like, uh, I'm not doing that. So, so I know that, uh, you reached out Laura to us. Mm -hmm. Um, and so what we ended up doing is shutting down all just real briefly, shutting down all your machines, working on one machine at a time, getting the one machine, then uh, your your Mac computer secure so that it was taken care of, changing your Gmail passwords, changing your Facebook password, your Instagram password so that we could get everything safe. Uh, you created a couple new profiles. And what happened when you created the new profiles is um, you didn't call at the time, right? So you were still using your own email account. You created some extra profiles. And what happened to those profiles also? So, yeah, so... Um, the morning that we talked to you, I, I created a new Instagram account with a brand new email address and a brand new name um, to my account. And I added a couple of posts and then I had that going and reached out to some friends and like, ah, I got hacked and, and let them know I'm coming back though. Don't worry. And so I reached out to them and that was around 10 or 11 in the morning. And I believe we spoke around two or three. When I went back on there again in the evening around eight, Poof, it was gone. The same thing happened and it said we you can't have access right now. You need Oh, this was the big thing. It said can we have access to all of your photos? That's not what Instagram does when you're getting ready to post a picture cuz it already has access to your post, to your pictures. It just allows you to manage them to add more 
pictures in there. So that was a big red flag. I, I think I learned a lot that afternoon. Okay. Anything different is a red flag. That's right. You want to stay within the <laughs> app itself and anybody taking care of it. So essentially that was even hacked itself too. So now we get everything kind of, is everything secure now for you? Mm-hmm. But now all of a sudden we're spending the time trying to go and get this recovered. Now, a long time ago, uh, literally like six months ago, and that is a long time. That's a long tech, time ago. And, te- and technology ideas, essentially, if when you closed your Facebook page account, it was gone. Mm-hmm. So that was when hackers would get into it. There was no recovery time. There was nothing they would take care of. They would delete the account, then your account was gone. Uh, competitors would sometimes hire hackers to do this. So if I'm, I'm trying to compete against Mike Gorday or somebody like that, I get into your Facebook account, I close it, then you have to recreate everything, new followers, new friends, a lot of effort that would it. need to, the, to be taken care of. So, so what happens now is you have to reach out. The next step is to work with this company called Meta. Okay, so let me so let me just tell you a little <laughs> bit about about this Meta uh, company itself. Now, Microsoft, if you have a problem with Office three sixty five within the app itself, you can reach out to contact support. They contact you with normally in five to ten minutes. Mm-hmm. If if you're on Google, Google very uh, in any Google uh, app. If you need help, you can go to the contact help. You can get help from them. PayPal, you can get help from somebody. Uh, eBay, I, I I do some eBay stuff here and there. If I need to talk to somebody, I can go to the contact page. So somebody will contact me in ten or you fifteen can't minutes. Do that with Facebook. You, you cannot Facebook. Does nothing now. I know no, I've been in Facebook jail, and there's nothing you can do. So, and I know people that work at Facebook, and mm-hmm. so I've co- reached out to people that work at Facebook. I contact them. They only take first in, first out for their service recalls. They will only do it on their time. And if you don't spend money with them on your account, if you're not like spending ad time and, and different items for them, they they won't even prioritize getting your account back up and going. Well, interesting business it, isn't model. It? So, so this is absolutely crazy. So now we're into this, um, I'd say, well, we're into this probably two and a half weeks. We, we get 30 days now because Facebook changed their policy that if your page is deleted, they give you 30 days to recover it. Mm-hmm. So we're in this 30-day waiting period. There is one place that you can submit your complaints to or mm-hmm. your accounts literally on their posting itself. It says that we may choose not to respond to your post. It's it's the virtual version of the circular file. The circular, yeah, the uh, yeah. Uh, the trash can? Yeah. Yes. So so we're on that. And, and you know, it, it's really frustrating. So I am really hoping, the reason that we have everybody on the show today, uh, Laura gladly came on in to explain this, is we need to get a better process for Meta. If Meta is going to be owning the universe of this, they got to get a better support system. They yeah, are absolutely. They're already, they're already showing you what they think of you by treating you the way that they're treating you. So, so, so essentially they're not going to treat they're, us worth they're, anything they're unless gonna, I spend money. They're not going to change unless somebody Can't, creates a system in which they have to change. I can't spend money if I don't have my Facebook page. I can't do ads to find the right amount of clients and the ones that I can serve. I know. <laughs> So, so that, so that, so this is essentially Facebook has. If your account's hacked, you can go to facebook.com forward slash hacked, mm-hmm. right? And then there's a reference code they give you, and then they'll let you submit that you were hacked. Now you don't get any <laughs> feedback after you submit that you're hacked. Oh, I know. it just goes into you this. A, you don't get an auto reply or nope, anything. You don't nothing. get nothing. Nothing. Wow. Not in the app. Not in the email. Rejection, that, that's absolutely. So then after that, after after they will allow you to gain access, then and, and you submit that. Now they open up a URL that you have access to on the page that's essentially available at facebook.com forward slash help numbers two one three four eight if you just go to forward slash help there's essentially a code there that will allow you to again fill out information that says that you need to be taken care of all saying that none of this will be responded to and hopefully they'll get back to you first come first serve mm-hmm. all you can do is essentially go to their contact form and continuously fill it out now I and I've given advice to, to you guys I said do this every day I mean, essentially, yeah. what you're going to need to do is spam them because they're not given any indication that they're even taking care of you this. Know, you know, the interesting piece is that is that you're spamming them, which is reinforcing them not doing things. Yeah, because now they're getting because, more and more because tickets. Because they get more and more tickets. So now they have more and more work to look at. And the more and more work to look at, the less they're going to prioritize it. Okay, let me. I, and, I, I can buy I, stuff from I'm Etsy. I can buy this. stuff from PayPal. I can buy stuff from this little, little vendor that will send me an email saying, We received your ticket. 
We are working on it. Here is your ticket. There's an application called Zendesk. It's free. I mean, there are applications oh, out there that. that all you got to do is just say you're working on the call. Just let me know that you're doing something instead of going into this wastebasket of of, <laughs> of absolute uh, horror. Now, so, Laura, so explain to me when this happened. How did you feel? Uh, what, what was your feelings like at first? And, and what are your feelings like now kind of going through this waiting game of, of what we have? <laughs> well, I've had an evolution of emotions, let's say. Okay. <laughs> the first few days, because it was around Christmas time, I'm like, it's okay. I'll have time with my family and not worry about being online and things like that. And it's a little slower for, for client engagement at that time, which was fine. Come Monday, right after Christmas, then I was like, we got to do something. And so I, I'd reached out with another uh, company that I work with. They were recently hacked. And so she had also, she'd sent me some email addresses and I'd sent emails to, to all the people that, that she had re- sent me. And so I reached out both Monday and Tuesday and we spoke with you on Wednesday. And so, um, and then it, there's like these little glimpses like, oh, we, we've recovered the Facebook page, but now we haven't from the hackers, but now we need to figure out how we can actually get it live again. Um, since January, I've missed out on doing lives. I've, I teach yoga for different companies, and I'll do a live class. And so I've missed out on that. I've missed out on um, some of the other corporate um, content creation things that I'm working on. So I haven't. I'm hoping I have another one due on January 19th. I'm hoping I'll be able to uh, be ready for that and. So yeah, I'm my emotions are now getting more a little flustered of like how am I going to restructure and reorganize what I do and do I just eliminate those two platforms and go to other platforms? Um I almost I almost say you di- do diversify. I mean, I almost say you have to. I mean, like if you go to Twitch TV and you have an issue with you, you get a live person contacting you each and every day. But if I got any of the Facebook stuff, let me just really tell gonna you. You're really going to nail that. You're really going to hit that hammer. All right, Facebook, listen, if you guys are listening right now, Facebook, listen, we are trying everything we can <laughs> to help you out. Just get someone that can actually answer a contact phone or get a call tree service available. If you could do that, that will take care of everything that we need to have accomplished. All right. Well, I appreciate you for coming in studio and telling our story. It is not a... It's, it's not a story I hope that people have to experience. I am hoping the idea of this, we were going to talk about this. We talked about it pre-show, and then I had said, hey, let's see if we can get you on the, on the uh, show itself. The idea of having this on here is that Facebook and other individuals can s- understand the complaint slash frustration if we're using your platform to have a customer service this is, engagement. This is, Please figure that out so that we can be able to do what we need to when we get hacked in our This is understanding the human impact. That's right. Yeah. All right. Not the technological impact, the human impact. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining the show. We're going to now go thank out you. and take a uh, commercial break. When we come on back, I believe we're going to have our This Week in Technology. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, do you ever feel tired, have a headache, or maybe a little bit under dehydrated? Yeah, I get told I need to hydrate more often. Guess what, Mike? I have a solution for you. What And what is it? Hydronique Hydration. The electrolyte power drink packets are available for you now. Started in the midst of the pandemic, the founder of Hydronique Hydration, a frontline healthcare worker, started developing constant headaches. Do you know that most powdered drinks on the market have tons of sugar and caffeine, especially those rock star and Gatorade substitutes? Yeah, like you drink. So I'm going to need to change. So what did the founder do? Well, that's why he created Hydronique Hydration, sugar-free, keto-friendly, plant-based, antioxidant-rich, electrolyte, powdered packets for daily use, containing all the essential vitamins and minerals with a refreshing taste. Their product contains elderberry. Elderberry. Which has immune-boosting properties for supporting during cold and flu season. Hydronique Hydration electrolyte powder packets can also fit in your bag or suitcase when traveling. Your busy days in 2022 can change. Do you want a sugar-free, keto-friendly vitamin drink to give you hydration boosts? If so, give Hydronique Hydration a try. You can visit the website at www.hydroniquehydration. It's www.hydroniquehydration.com. Hydration.com. That's the word hydration and unique mashed together. Or you can search for Hydronique Hydration on Amazon.com or on their own website at hydroniquehydration.com. And now, let's look back at this week in technology. All right.
right. All right. Bitcoin launched on January 9th, 2009 through a posting of cryptograph mailing list. The pseudo Satoshi Nakamoto released the first version of Bitcoin software and launches the network decentralizing peer-to-peer cryptocurrency. Six days earlier, Nakamoto had generated the first blocks of 50 Bitcoins now known as the Genesis blocks. Bitcoin has been slowly and steady and gained momentum as users accept it as a currency across the world. Bitcoin has the potential to become the currency of the future, which means it could completely change the way our society regards money and governments no longer abling to uh, task and monitor the financial items. Not Mm -hmm. bad news for some open source code idea to create a currency. Sure. So what do you think about that? Wouldn't you like to have those 50 uh, Genesis blocks? Oh, yeah. A Bitcoin yeah. right now? Of course. Then you'd be a millionaire, right? I would be a billionaire. There would be a billionaire by now. That's right. Okay. I, can, I would be in the Caribbean and not right here. All right. That, that takes us through our This Week in Technology. Join us after the break as we have our letter segment coming up next. Hey, Mike. What's up? Hey, with 2022 coming along, guess what? We got some news to announce. What are we going to announce? Well, we are announcing that we are going to be continuing to broaden our show, and we're moving to Kixie 880. 880 AM KIXI? Starting January 11th. We are going to be on Tuesdays from 3 to 4 PM. But don't you fear, because everybody at KKNW will still continue to have our show broadcasting on Saturdays for the two hours, and of course, our replay options on Thursday morning. Awesome. Hello, my name is Arthur, and my life's work is connecting people with coffee. Story Coffee is a small batch specialty coffee company that uses technology to connect people to each product resource, which allows farmers to unlock their economic freedom. Try our medium roast founder series coffee, which is an exotic bourbon variety that is smooth, fresh, and elegant at storycoffee.com. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Today, you can get your first bag free when you subscribe at storycoffee.com with code TECHTIME. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, do you ever feel tired, have a headache, or maybe a little bit under dehydrated? Yeah, I get told that I need to hydrate more often. Guess what, Mike? I have a solution for you. What And what is it? Hydronique Hydration. The electrolyte power drink packets are available for you now. Started in the midst of the pandemic, the founder of Hydronique Hydration, a frontline healthcare worker, started developing constant headaches. Do you know that most powdered drinks on the market have tons of sugar and caffeine, especially those rock star and Gatorade substitutes? Yeah, like you drink. So I'm going to need to change. So what did the founder do? Well, that's why he created Hydronique Hydration, sugar-free, keto-friendly, plant-based, antioxidant-rich, electrolyte powdered packets for daily use, containing all the essential vitamins and minerals with a refreshing taste. Their product contains elderberry. Elderberry. Which has immune-boosting properties for supporting during cold and flu season. Hydronique Hydration electrolyte powder packets can also fit in your bag or suitcase when traveling. Your busy days in 2022 can change. Do you want a sugar-free, keto-friendly vitamin drink to give you hydration boosts? If so, give Hydronique Hydration a try. You can visit the website at www.hydroniquehydration. It's www.hydroniquehydration.com. Hydration.com. That's the word hydration and unique mashed together. Or you can search for Hydronique Hydration on Amazon.com or on their own website at hydroniquehydration.com. All right, now let's get the segment started about informational emails that I received during the week. This includes scam, phishing emails, and all-out mistruths. This guide is legitimate emails in the segment that we always call our letters. Now, Mike, we we had a- This is the do not try this at home. This is not, yeah. So if you would have been listening to us, if Laura would have listened to our show, I don't think she would have clicked on the stuff, to be honest, for Facebook. You know what? that, That would be a nice thing to say, but we are so busy- in our daily lives that those type of things, all those type of things, they hit us in our survival mechanisms. Okay. And when we get hit in our survival mechanisms, we often do things without thinking about it. Our brain has a way of shortcutting our critical thinking so that we do things without really thinking about it. Okay. That's one of those. If somebody, if somebody says your business that you make money on has been hacked. Yep. 
what's the first thing that happens? You're getting close. Oh, gonna, you're oh my say, God. I got to get. I got to take, take care of this. And that's the quickest route. All right. My first one I have here uh, from PayPal, uh, even though it includes an email address at T I S D H G at Q D V M O P E P F dot C O dot U K. So probably not PayPal. That. that is that the UK version? Uh, second attempt for Nathan Mum. Congratulations! Uh, exclamation point! Uh, exclamation point! Wait. Response Wait. needed. Did you? Did so you... I clicked on it. Yeah. Yeah. It asked me to type in my PayPal username and password. Okay. Yeah, this... Take you to a, a PayPal. It was a horrible looking PayPal invitation really? page. Yeah, it, it wasn't. It, was an it wasn't even worth. <laughs> no, I, I, I think I don't. I, nobody would have typed it in there. It was PayPal, and pay, PayPal has a blue. That's it, like the kind of their color yeah, is blue. Yeah, blue. Yeah, it had a little blue green tent. So yeah. if you're gonna if you're gonna knock off a logo, just just go to the website, copy that freaking logo, put it don't in there. Don't tell people how to do it. D- d- don't We're, be trying to re-edit your logo to a different color. Yeah, you're not, not supposed to be helping those people. You're All supposed right. to be helping the people that click on stuff like this. Okay, I think you got a nice one. Yeah, I got I got one from Agueda Serdan. Okay. Or Acer Dan. Oh. At accurate.com. So I mean, two different names are there. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Okay. So that that's probably a first sign that maybe it may not be it legit. Might, well, yeah, but okay. but then again, who knows? Okay. Right? Because okay. it's at accurate.com, and its subject line is employment verification with a number. Okay. And then it has that number repeated, which says, please include in replies, says, hello, Accurate Background Inc. That's a very... Sounds like an accurate uh, background that, ink. That, that's a that's a very you know informative name. Yeah, is a background screening company. Okay, and we would like to verify dates of employment submitted by a person who listed your company as an employer. We ask that you please provide us with a contact for human resources or a person who handles verifications of employment. Thank you for your time. Best regards, Ogueda Sal Salmaron Serdan. Okay, verification researcher one international www.accurate.com. www. Okay. All right. All right. So that that looks pretty legit, actually. So it it does look legit, and you know what? There are some aspects to that that could be legit, except for the problem is who was it sent to with the email address there? It was sent to hello. It was sent to hello. Yeah. Okay. And so is that, that your email address? Hello. Yeah, no, it's not sent. It's where so, Where is that email address? It's nowhere to be found. So you know what happened is it, this is probably just somebody that is searching for information. Regarding a company, some contact information. If I have the HR person respond, or if I send it to an HR person to respond, that person will then end up on some mailing list or some spam list that this is the HR contact, and then all of that information that I can send to that person for spamming and in different accounts can be taken care of. So it's so not really is, a phishing it's, attempt. It's but just it's an attempt, active email uh, uh, responder. Active email responder. That's correct. Yes. Okay. All right. My last, my next one I have here is Tony Robbins. Tony oh, Ro- Tony. Tony Robbins. I like Tony. Yeah, Tony Robbins at FQPR276 uh, at sure gmail.com. Yeah, yeah well, well, he's got his own gmail.com. Uh, that's uh, not th- even his name. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you are better than you think. You are amazing. Look at that. That's true. So I click on that. I get a little picture of Tony Robbins comes on up. Okay. And then, and then it, it's got a video from him, actually. So they stole his stuff. And then all of a sudden, it'll ask me to sign up for his newsletter because he's going to send me something. And again, it's a attack to get my confidential, not confidential information, but our uh, approved a- email account to then send some spam email to. So what did what what did you get? I did not sign up for it. I just oh, I, 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 darn it! Clearly, clearly, Tony Robbins and I are, are are really tight. He just reached out to me personally. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You've been drinking a lot of that. Uh, no, I haven't. Have okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had the two stars. It's all right. It's five stars for me. Nathan Mum from Greg from No Before. Okay. Greg dot cross at get back life we number dot com. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So the most important is the No Before is a legitimate company. It's a company I actually have done business with. Okay. So this person knows that I've done business with No Before. Well, how does he know that? Well, I, I he probably he probably got into No Before, or maybe he just is on some type of list. Mm-hmm. But if, if you read through this whole email, it all is legit. Yeah, I mean- it, it literally is like something that No Before would send. Yeah. But the thing is, is when I respond to it, I'm responding to that email. And does that email look like it goes to No Before? No, that's get back life we something. Yep, uh, but everything else looks looks it looks like a promotional. See ridiculously easy security awareness training and phishing. 
Last Chance, Simulated Fishing and Awareness Training in Action. Hi, Nathan. Old school awareness training does not hack it anymore. That's that's really nice play on words. Yeah. Your email filters have an average of 6 to 10% failure rate. You need a strong human firewall as your last line of defense, which is interesting because it's usually the human firewall that fails the most. That is true. So this, this is a pretty good ad. So this yep. is so everything about this ad is legitimately great, except for if I would respond to this, this person would get information that I'm interested to know before, and it would not go to the company itself. So this is, again, uh, an email... Uh, email verification, verification, knowing that if I'm interested in doing no before stuff. So then all of a sudden they know that they can start sending me some security. Hey, do this training, do this training, or here's some security apps. Click on this, look at the new deal, and try to get me to probably purchase a software program that doesn't do anything for me, but will cost some money. So how do we how do we how do we do this? Right. So we we have to we have to take a minute. Yeah. We have to take a minute and look at some things engage our critical thinking on some of these things because i i interestingly enough i got an email from somebody the other day i thought was spam okay because there was some weird stuff on the signature line okay i was like this person doesn't isn't real and today i got a message that oh yeah it's real that person was real and they were really looking for me oh really all right there we go okay all right well we're gonna uh head out to a commercial break that was our letter segment when we come on back uh, we still have things you didn't know. Mike's mesmerizing moment brought to us by Story Coffee and Pick of the Day. We'll see you guys right after this commercial break. Hey, babe, I hear that you can download a new voice on Siri. No way. Yes, it's true. It's a voice that goes, hey, you big honk. What do you want to do and where do you want to go? Stop it. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. What has tech ever done for our relationships? Mm, we can't talk about that on the radio. If you want to eavesdrop on juicy conversations that no one is having around all things love, sex, and relationships, join us right here, 1 p.m. on KKNW and wherever you get your podcast. We look forward to seeing you in the Love Shack. How to See a Man About a Dog. It combines darkly comic short stories, powerful poems, and pulp fiction prose to create a heartbreaking and hilarious journey readers will not soon forget. Read How to See a Man About a Dog, Collected Writings, for free with Kindle Unlimited. Ebook available on Kindle, print copies available on Amazon the Book Depository, and more. Stories You Didn't Know. All right, Tesla restores this assertive self-driving mode. Tesla has reinstated the assertive self-driving mode. The company issued an update from October containing the functions to add the uh, chill and average modes is what they called them. Chill and mode. The chill mode and the average modes. And essentially, they have removed them due to software issues. The move has triggered some safety concerns. The restoration of the assertive mode now allows your Model X to follow a smaller following distance, performs more frequent speed lane changes, and will not exit passing lanes and may perform rolling stops. So essentially, this new fix that they are releasing to all of the Tesla's X models is more aggressive than their previous ones. And the reason they're saying that is because we drive more as an aggressive individual and having all the cautious areas essentially could have caused traffic jams and having people waiting in, at intersections for autonomous vehicles to wait for each other because they didn't know which one wanted to move first. Yeah, what do you sure. think about that? I think that's a load of book. It's a marketing. I think it's a marketing thing. Why? Interestingly enough, we're 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 creating this thing so that people are safe. Yeah, and yet we're adding a feature that drives like the jerks that that you yell at when you're driving around. Yeah, people that don't that don't stop at stoplights. Stop. You know, they roll roll through stop signs. They do all this other stuff. So, uh, Elon is be saying like, well. If they wanted, if they want some gadget to do that for them, let it, let let's do that. All right, you know, let's now move into Mike's mesmerizing moment. Then we can talk a little bit about this. Let's start that Mike's mesmerizing moment. This is Mike's mesmerizing moment, presented by Story Coffee. Visit storycoffee.com. All right. Yeah. The, the interest. The interesting thing about this this assertive mode. Yep. At, at, given what they've said, they're they're taking they're taking this ultra safety thing that they're trying to install in these cars and realizing it that people are not going to enjoy it. Okay, they're they're realizing that people are going to be a little bit uh, upset about things. Okay, and so they are installing features that would be us 
in our like when I'm when I'm driving around, what happens when you come to a a stoplight that is hanging on forever? I, I go through. You want to? Well, do you, you? You're not supposed to. I, 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 but I you I, want to, right? No, no. no. Okay, okay. You, I, I, I slow down. I slow down. Yeah, you slow down. Okay, no. You know, or rolling stops. Yeah. You know, you're supposed to come to a complete stop. We don't like doing that. Yeah. Aggressive lane changing. Yep. Right. You're just going to get the attention. So, the feature is being added so that we can we can attenuate it to human behavior. Okay. Which sort of defeats the purpose of having something that keeps you safe. That kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. You know what? We have done a great show today. Well, the Kixies do a great a great deal. Mr. Miller behind the board. Uh, he was helping us out. Odie, thank you so much for helping us out today, too. And you know what? Mr. David Brown listening as he's driving around right now. We miss you. Now, we're going to talk about our pick of the day. It's our two stars. Um, it's a great bourbon. Simple, simpler uh, from Louisville. What do you think? Is it a thumbs up or is it a thumb down? I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It's a very smooth taste, and uh, I like it. I liked it, too. I'm going to give it a thumbs up, too. All right, Mag. We're about a time. Is gone for the day. We're happy to be a part of the Kixie 880, home of Tech Time with Nathan Mum on Tuesdays from 3 to 4 p.m. You can also catch us on our encore shows on Thursday mornings from 6 to 7 a.m. and Saturdays from 4 to 6 p.m. on KKNW. We thank you for listening and hope that you have part of our show could add to you for each week. Now remember, the science of tomorrow starts with the technology of today. Are you sure? I am sure. All right. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us on Tech Time Radio. We hope that you had a chance to have that hmm moment today in technology. The fun doesn't stop there. We recommend that you go to techtimeradio.com and join our fan list for the most important aspect of staying connected and winning some really great monthly prizes. We also have a few other ways to stay connected, including subscribing to our podcast on any podcast service from Apple to Google and everything in between. We're also on YouTube, so check us out on youtube.com slash tech time radio all one word we hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did making it for you from all of us at tech time radio remember mum's the word have a safe and fantastic week